these proposals is one that would make it an offence to deny the Holocaust. Mr Howard said the new rules would require substantial changes in British law, many of which would be counterproductive. The former Bearings trader Nick Leeson has appeared in court in Singapore. He's been charged with 11 counts of fraud and forgery in connection with the collapse of Britain's oldest bank. It took the court more than an hour to hear all the charges. No plea was taken and Mr Leeson was remanded in custody for a week. A grandmother who wanted to stop her three-year-old grandson being brought up in a religious cult has lost her case to the High Court. The group, known formally as the Children of God, had a history of child abuse. The judge said he was satisfied that the sect had changed enough to allow the child to stay with his mother, who's a member. A 24-hour strike by the public sector workers in France has brought much of the country to a standstill. The actions in protest against cuts in health care and social security funding. Transport services have been badly hit. The state-owned airlines have cancelled most of their flights. Millions of commuters have been unable to get to work, and the Eurostar service is being disrupted. That's it for now. The next news is the one o'clock news. Now the headlines in the southeast. Two dogs kept in police custody for years under the Dangerous Dogs Act have been reunited with their owners in the southeast. Dempsey, the pit bull terrier, returned home after more than three years and a bitter legal battle to free her. Buster, the English Mastiff, is also back on home ground after six months apart from his owners. Judges condemn the legislation as costly and ill thought out. Opponents of rail privatisation go to the High Court today in their campaign against a decision which would allow train operators to cut timetables. The Save Our Railways campaign is hoping for a judicial review of the franchising process, which allows train operators to cut services by up to 50%. The group argues that services should be based on existing timetables. A prison officer who stole the keys of his West London prison to a convict is being sentenced today. Hayden Southern made duplicate keys to the internal doors of Wormwood Scrubs. He was charged with attempting to assist and escape. Extra security measures have now been introduced at the prison and £75,000 has been spent on changing the locks. That's it. Other weather, here's David Lee. Good afternoon. Well, just after midday, time to look around Europe's weather. In the east, a fair amount of cloud here, some snow, some very cold weather. Across the central and bottom part of the Mediterranean here, a large clump of cloud. And that's given some heavy rain and some thunderstorms. At the moment, they're from southern Sardinia across uh, Sicily in towards Malta. Those are going to be gradually pushing their way eastward over the next couple of days. Low pressures are responsible for that. Now, over the next few days, we're going to find this area of low pressure in front come into southwestern parts of Europe, bringing some spells of rain. But further east, high pressure is going to dominate. This centre probably slipping a little bit further southeast, and then a new centre developing across northeastern areas of Europe behind that cold front. That's going to be some very cold weather indeed up into Scandinavia, some severe frost by Monday night, and still pretty frosty too across other eastern parts of Europe. So for some detail in the northeast, some snow across northern Scandinavia through Saturday. That turns to rain as we move southward, and then it's drier and brighter in the south, and that bright weather extends across most central and eastern parts of Europe, but quite chilly in some places after that morning fog and frost. For the west, across France, some dry weather, then some rain in the west, lots of rain across Spain and Portugal, and of those showers across the central Mediterranean, drifting very slowly eastwards. Now back to the British Isles, and at the moment it's very mild, might stay mild, I think, through the weekend. We've got a belt of rain through southwest England into Wales, that's going to move very slowly eastwards, but it will brighten up, I think, on the western coast of Wales, and brighter weather further to the northwest. The eastern part of England probably staying dry. Now throughout the weekend, eastern areas should be largely dry, most of the showery rain in the southwest. In Scotland and Northern Ireland, it's becoming drier. That's it from me. 